Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do a full breakdown of Lalo. That's right. We are going to be doing a full breakdown of the Blizzard Lalo. We're going to try to go into way more detail in friendly challenges. Do we think we can get it? Well, I think with this army, which is kind of my cookie cut army where I have the super wall breaks, the baby dragon and the lava hounds here, it's going to be really strong. And I'm going to try to go in a lot more detail than I do in Legends. And here we go. Let's jump into the very first base. So what you want to do is you want to think about a base in a circle, right? So I've talked about this before. Let me go ahead and switch the color up in here because the circle, if you think about it like that, then you can kind of take out sections like a pie and then you can work from there. So if we got a circle that's like this, I would say use your blimp, especially if you're just trying to learn it, send your blimp usually always for the town hall, right? If you can always send it for the town hall, you can get some great value. And in this case, I'm going to stick to that. I'm going to send the blimp into the town hall either over here or over here. Which direction do you think? Well, the town hall is on the edge, so you can potentially say, hey, I don't want to drop a lava hound. I want to just go with the blimp, but it could be a little dangerous. In this case, let's just stick with dropping the hound into an air defense, and then we're going to drop the blimp right behind. And then we're going to try to get all this value, okay? But we're going to send the blimp into here, and we want to help use the super wizards to take out all this, the town hall, and then we can drop a baby dragon behind to grab the buildings there. So now, what you have to think about is where do you deploy your king and queen? Well, you want to deploy your king and queen either on the left side or on the right side of where you just deploy that blimp. And where what are you looking to get? Well, in this case, you want to get the queen, right? Your next step after you use that blimp is to use the, your king and queen to either take out the defending queen, which in this case is right here, or the defending royal champion. You're not going to make it all the way over there. So the queen's right here. Plus, if you go over here, you can defeat and take out that clan castle okay so after you do that let's actually do the attack first right so let's go ahead and jump into the blimp because after you grab that you're going to want to drop your world champion somewhere either over here or over on this side because then you want to kind of extend that funnel that you just did that is huge if then you can come with lalo and make it a lot easier so let's go and start off here let's go with the lava hound the blimp Let's drop a balloon. We like to drop a minion here as well. And let's see how many. Okay, we're going to get pushed back by the sweeper. And then we're going to go in Viz, Rage, and boom. All right, let's see. Can I can I get this tunnel down with only two invisibility spells? Let's see. Boom. Two invisibility spells only used. We pulled out some headhunters. And a lot of value. Wow, look at all that value there. Perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop this archer to help take down this bottom side. I'm going to use this baby dragon to help clear the headhunters. But now, how am I going to kill them off like this? So let's drop a baby dragon and drop some uh, archers right in front of that of those headhunters. Boom. Down goes the headhunters with these with that baby dragon. Now I can go ahead and drop, let's say, a minion right there. Now, notice if I drop the balloons from this angle, I'll be able to take this down, right? Watch this. If I go one, two onto the, can onto the cannon... The uh, build, that gold mine is going to go down because of the splash. I came in at that angle, and that was very, very beneficial there. So let's go and drop Ice Golem, Super Wall Break, and then we will drop the Queen. Now the King's going to charge her way straight in. Now let's drop the Royal Champion and a Wizard. So while that's pretty much tanking here, we're going to go ahead and help take the single down. And the single is not down just yet. Okay, it's down. And we still have the King ability looking good, and we have two invisibilities. So now the question comes, when do you want to pop the or do the Lalo, right? Because the Lalo is critical, usually about at least minute 15 left in the raid. Otherwise, you're going to be at a huge potential for a time fail. All right. So the queen's pushing her way in. The royal champs going here. We got about minute 17 and there is a minute, uh, minute 15. All right. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start the Lalo. We're moving our way through. Royal Champion, try to keep you alive. And let's drop the Grand Warden, another Hound. And now we're coming in. Drop some minions like this. Let's go ahead and freeze you. And let's drop some Headhunters to push our way through here. Pop that Warden ability. Drop some more Headhunters. Minions across. Let's go and freeze. Haste. More Balloons. Drop some minions. We're pushing our way through here. That top side... Oh, that top side multi is doing work. So drop some balloons, drop some minions for cleanup there. Let's see. Can we push our way into the, into this multi right here? We need to take the scatter shot down. There's, the lava hound is still standing. 
Let's drop a freeze onto you. Let's drop a haste right into there. We can drop a wall break. And at this kit and this time, so since you see I started that Lalo pretty late, I'm gonna have to use these balloons for cleanup at this point. And 15 seconds, 14, so how much time am I gonna have left? The balloon split here, drop balloons. And so that's why I say start with at least a minute 15. Probably, you definitely want more, right? Uh, two, one, and I had a few seconds. So probably more about minute 20 is like, if I see a minute 20 on the clock, you gotta go. Otherwise, unless you have the cleanly slalo and cleanup ever, then you can get the three star. But let's break that down further. If we break this down a little bit further, let's just see exactly the value that we get. And so we started the Lalo a little bit actually after a minute 15, right? So we started about like probably a minute 10, or it must have been. But let's see. So since the town hall is right here, I'm pretty on the edge. We don't need to use all the invisibility spells. The biggest thing that we needed was that town hall. It went down. So let's just extend this funnel and see exactly. So here is the blimp part right here, right? And so, where is the hero part? So we dealt with the CC right here. Boom, we get that, no problem. We go after that queen. Balloons help take down that right there. And then here goes, oh, wait, here we go. Okay, so here goes the hero part, right? The king and queen, they are extending this right here. So the king and queen technically make their way all the way into the eagle into here. And then the royal champion, she is extending that circle even farther out so now you see the whole set of this side right through here was with the blimp and the heroes that is what you want to do you want to take out 50 percent of the bait or so right with the blizzard you have the opportunity the potential to be able to do that so then the lalo if we just pause it why do we come in from this way right we have the sweeper that is pointing over here why didn't we come this way on the bottom side right take the time why think about it the reason is because if the hounds fly all the way across here, then the balloons, once they get to this point right here, the hounds are already gone, and then the balloons will start to get targeted, right? And so, yes, we're going to have to fight through the sweeper, but that we want to be able to protect the balloons with the hound to be able to push our way through. And so, as you push your way in, boom, I popped the warden ability because the headhunters, right? They went for the royal champion. That's why I popped the warden, dropped the headhunters. I And also, what you want to do, I'll go ahead and kind of go here, is... Don't drop all headhunters in one spot, right? You want to drop a headhunter, a headhunter, and a headhunter like this. So, because if you drop them all in one spot, they go in, they all they find a spring trap, and boom, they all get launched, right? So, it's very important to drop the headhunters staggered. Maybe you drop one, wait, drop another, and then drop another, right? That's why you don't want to drop them all in the same spot. Otherwise, the spring trap will launch them right there. Now, we're going to take a look at a base with a town hall in the core. We're going to try to apply the exact same thought process that we did before to this space. So first things you got to identify is the town hall. It's in the middle. We're going to send the blimp for it. So how do you send the blimp? Well, there's going to be any direction, especially with it being in the middle. You could send it really anywhere. But now you have to really identify the two important things is the sweepers. How can you get the blimp to the town hall? Which direction do you want to go? Well, we have two potential directions, either here or either here. Really, to be honest, which one from these uh, areas do you want to come in from? Well, probably not from this one because the sweeper, if you come from this angle, what's going to happen? The blimp's going to come into here. The sweeper will be like, oh, it's going to shoot you up. Probably don't want that. You probably wanted the blimp to come in here because you got nothing that's going to be hitting it. But that means this area is a great place for seeking air mines because exactly that. So it is risky. But we're going to send the lava hound here. And then we could go, you could technically make this invis, make this invis, make this invis, and the hound will just shoot it all the way across, and then, yeah, but you're not going to really do that. But if the if you send the hound and blimp all the way into here, now let's think about it like this, right? Let's think about it like a circle, like we did before, right? We're going to just take our time, try to draw a good circle. Hey, you know, hey, I'll, can I get some credit? That was a little, that was a pretty good circle, you know, for for free hand drawing, but whatever. And if you guys are wondering what I'm using to draw on my screen, it's called Epic Pen. And I use it on the computer, the PC. Just type in epicpen.com. Type in Epic Pen on YouTube. You'll probably actually find a video that I made about me using it for Clash of Clans. But anyways, um, that's what I use. Simple, very easy, and it just draws over my PC screen, and then that's how I capture it. So it's not on my app, it's not on my phone or anything. Um, but we use the blimp, and let's say we take out a section. Boom, we just take out this, blah, blah, blah. We're good. 
Now you drop the king and queen near where you either drop them here or here, right? Which one do you drop? Which side? Well, you're going to drop your heroes on the side where the queen or the royal champion is. And uh, ideally, bam, there she is. So you're going to drop the heroes going for her. To help take her out. Okay, so your heroes, are, your king and queen are going to look to take out this section. So now where is your royal champion going to go? Either here or here. You're going to drop her most likely on the top side to extend the funnel even more like we did in the previous example, right? You could potentially drop her down here, but most likely not. Or yeah, you can mostly you could drop her down here, but most likely not. The reason being is because there's so many ground expos and the Royal Champ is going to get absolutely destroyed very quickly. So then the Royal Champ will come in here. Plus, you could potentially get the Queen as well, right? That could be huge value. So now the Lalo is going to be where? You're going to come in the Lalo either this way or this way. Which one? Well, let's take a look at where the Sweeper is, right? This one will probably be down from the blimp. This one is pointing the other way. And we want to lolo this way, not only because the sweeper is pointing the other way, but because the eagle artillery is standing. So that is why. That's kind of the thought process behind this attack. So, with that in mind, give it a shot. Here we go. So, remember, let's keep in mind about a minute 20 is when you want to at least have the lolo down. So let's try to keep that in mind. And if we time fail, is that the reason? So we're going to go with the hound, blimp, with the balloon. I'm going to drop two balloons onto the Archer Tower. I think that can get some nice value. All right, we're moving in. Builder Hut. No Seeking Air Mine. And boom, and pop. Okay, so we got some nice value there. Boom. Taking out a multi-target Inferno. The Scattershot does stay up. Okay, we take that all down. Can we save this invisibility? Can we get the Town Hall without... Oh, Town Hall? Perfect. Town Hall went down. And there we go. Okay, so... Let's go and drop a poison spell here. That's actually perfect. We saved an invisibility, and then we actually have that. So let's go and drop you here. All right, so let's go ahead and drop the king right here. Let's drop the queen behind. Queen's going to step up here. We could probably drop a balloon onto the scatter. We're going to drop a super wall break here. We probably drop the royal champion. Let's drop an ice golem going into here. Try to hopefully maybe protect. Let's drop a wizard. Baby dragon over here to help funnel. So my queen. So now where's my queen going? Right? So now the queen, she's going down this way. Which means now my king and royal champ, if they can get to the uh, top side, that's going to be fantastic. Let's actually make them invisible to protect them here. Uh, royal champ, uh, queen's ability goes off. We're at a minute 38 left in the raid. We got another, so about minute 20, right? Let's pop this uh, king ability. Royal champ's getting some fantastic value. The eagle did activate. Pop the RC ability, skips through a Tesla farm. And we have about a minute 25. We definitely want to start this Lalo now. Right? So we get that down. And you got to get some minions. Warden is down. Get some more balloons as we push our way through. And let's see. The Royal Champ's going to push our way through there. The Hound's going to cut across. More like this. Hound's cutting through there. Let's see balloons. They're pushing our way through there. Drop you. Drop some minions. We're going to haste. Take down that eagle artillery. We got so many freezes left over. Drop a freeze there. Freeze onto that multi. Freeze the scatter shot. Plenty of time. Freeze. We even need this warden ability. We'll pop it there. Drop some minions. Drop some headhunters. And we got 37 seconds left. So you can see. We started just about a minute 20. And swag that, that haste spell. There's the tornado trap. But, like, if you were trying to defend in the base, where I dropped the blimp would probably be the most ideal location for Seeking Your Mind. So when you're trying to break down bases and trying to say, hey, where's the best spot for traps? Well, that's how you can kind of do it. And you can say, hey, this would be a good spot for Seeking Your Minds to stop those blimps just like that. But that's the thought process, right? Right there is where you would want to do it. And so I know I wanted to take some time on, like, those bases. We'll do one more. Hopefully it really helps. And let me know down in the comments if you really enjoyed this full breakdown on these attacks. And remember... If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do it. Let's get into the final one. We got the third and final base here. We're going to break this down, and hopefully this really helps you guys. So think about it. Pause the video. Come up with your attack, what you think is going to work, right? So just really pause it, maybe draw on it, take a picture, screenshot, whatever you may do. And then I think this really helps people if they really take that time to do it. So hopefully you did it. And now what's the plan? So 
We're going to go for the town hall, right? We're going to come up with a blimp to get there. We got the sweeper pointed here. We got a sweeper pointed here. We've got a lot of area potential for giant bombs. I want to land the blimp right here. Hopefully, I'm not going to use a hound. Hopefully, I activate the giant bombs and my super wizards are safe, right? That's the hope. Then we will probably do what? So we take out the queen, maybe, or the chain onto the royal champ. We may or may not. So then we do, and then we send probably our heroes down here. So if we draw a circle, right? We draw that circle. We go, boom. There is the blimp. Takes that down. So now we need our heroes. Blue and blue. Probably coming down here to go for the royal champ. May, we could still go here for the queen if she doesn't go down. So it's all reaction. Let's just say we drop them over here. We drop and we take this section out. Boom, boom, boom. With our heroes. Royal champion is probably going to extend that funnel. She's probably going to come over here. And bam, all this goes down, right? And so now where are we going to lalo? Well, probably going to have to lalo from the top side. Because this sweeper is still pointing this way, right? And plus, if you do it this way, you have to worry about time. Most likely, if you're, you will get probably below a minute 15, you're going to have to start the Lalo. This is nice that you get to go into the Eagle Artillery nice and quick, but watch out. The scatter shot is going to be quite annoying. So you do have to be you have to be worried about that. But let's just attack it. Let's see. We'll plan what happens. So we're going to drop a few balloons. So drop some balloons. Maybe a third balloon is nice. Drop the blimp. And let's see. Will we make it? Will we make it? Will we make it? Oh, we made it. Okay, boom. All right, there we go. So that the headhunter was super annoying. Now I'm gonna try to keep this hound invisible here. So there we go. Okay. Can we get can we take this town all down without using this last invis? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Town all to go down. Yes! Town all went down. The queen didn't. The queen did not. So keep that in mind. We did take down the single. Let's drop the king here. And this is another reason why I have the baby dragon, but I don't have anywhere to drop the archers. Um but yeah, so I'll probably just drop the I'll drop the baby dragon here. Drop the queen, and this will kind of help us. Clear this hound even faster. Boom. Let's try to clear it in the pups. Okay. So, what are we going to do? We're going to try to continue here. We're going to probably drop the super wall breaker into the section. I can't drop... Um, I can drop an ice golem here. I can drop another super wall breaker. Ooh. Wait. Are we going to make it? Yes, we made it. Okay, cool. Pop king ability. We opened up that wall. We have the invisibility, which is probably what I'm going to use... For the royal champ. So I'm going to just drop a balloon to kind of protect the royal champ a little bit. Drop her over here. And now there's now they're setting up going this way. I'm going to drop a minion down here to pull the air scalies, which will kind of maybe pull the RC a little bit as well. Um, never mind. Okay, doesn't. Uh, we've got the queen takes them down. we got a minute 35. So keep that, keep that in mind, right? Minute 35. The yak dies. Minute 30. Pop the RC ability. Make her invisible. Drop a headhunter. And a minute 24, so we're gonna start that Lalo, right? Boom. We're starting the Lalo. Another hound down. We're coming in. Got the word on air. Drop some minions across. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at the traps that it pulled. Let's go ahead and freeze you up. Queen's ability into the core. Let's go and do this. So another hound from over here. And we're pushing our way through. Ground Expo is doing some work. Royal Champ has been killed. We don't have to worry about that. We're Laloing around. Alright, so there's probably a bunch of Air bombs in the middle. Oh, pop that ability. Let's go and drop that. Oh, wait, the defending queen is still up. I forgot. I forgot about the defending queen. Send some headhunters into there. All right, queen, you got to die. Queen, you got to die, and you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice, queen. Die or else. Drop some archers. Drop some more archers. Drop a wizard. Bam. There it is. Got it. How much time we got left? About 28 seconds. It's getting close on time. So it was approaching about a minute 20. You want to start that Lalo. And we got plenty of cleanup. We got the value with the blimp. Even though the headhunter stopped it a little bit. But down it goes. Cleared it. So hopefully these tips help you a little bit. This is the stuff that goes in my mind. When I'm looking at a base. Especially in Legends League. When I'm trying to break it down really quickly. And hopefully you did find it helpful. Remember if you did. Let me know down in the comment section. If you want to see another attack strategy. Broken down just like this. Be sure to let me know. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click that sub button and click the like button if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.